prejudice, preconceptions and stereotypes shape the way that we perceive reality. And this has become particularly apparent in South Africa. A new theatre production investigates this theme through the eyes of a trio of women. And Zaki went to find out what happens beyond the Big Bang. Josie Theatre was rocked by the impact of award-winning playwright Ashwin Singh's wit and wisdom recently when he brought his latest production to the stage. Titled Beyond the Big Bangs, it featured Shona Johnson, Chantelle Sneeman and Annalisa Kabu. There's more to a rehearsal process than just learning your lines and stepping on your mark. It's where an actor gets to know their character and their fellow cast members. It's also where a piece of theatre comes to life. This is my favourite part, so let's see how Beyond the Big Bangs comes to life with Ashwin Singh directing. What's this? It's little Bongani Kumalo. Is he going to play with them? But I thought you only gamble on Saturday nights. Hello, hello. hello. Just take a break. Hi. How are you? Lovely to see you. Okay, you can be on a short break. <laughs> Your passion for theatre is so obvious. Where did it all begin? Well, actually, I preferred to study law and politics at university, and my parents forced me to study theatre. They wanted a <laughs> theatre practitioner in the family, like so many parents do, I'm told. No, seriously. I mean, I actually love theatre, but I love law and politics, and that was my early days at university. And then I discovered a lot more about theatre, and I was part of the drama department for a while, and it was lot, very exciting. And so I began to pursue that as well. I loved my time lecturing and practising law, but now I'm focused fully on the theatre, because it demands that kind of work ethic and commitment. As a playwright, where do you find your inspiration for your plots and characters? Well, in everyday life, um, uh, my actors here inspire me in so many ways because they have very interesting lives. Um, they're complex women. This play in particular focuses on women and I've been uh, surrounded by many dynamic, powerful women. But there are so many stories to be told in our communities which have not been told. And that's what I'm here to do. I want to be a storyteller. I want to share the untold stories of so many unsung heroes in our world, in our contemporary South African world. In a nutshell, what is the plotline of Beyond the Big Bangs? So there are three women. There is Sandra, who's a domestic worker, and she's caught in between a conflict between the neighbours and her boss, um, who is a bit of a pretentious woman, a so-called coloured woman, but who wants to compete with her white neighbours. Then you have Geeta, who's a granny and a gambler, but she's also alienated from her family and, and her community in many ways. So she's trying to find deeper meaning in this community and to break the stereotype of the so-called Indian granny and gambler. And then there's Lindiwe, who is an inspiring teacher, but she slapped a pupil at her new school. And this was just a few months after she was stabbed at her previous school. So I examined the concept of school and um, how even when you're in a safer place, there are other issues that you have to face, including racism and other kinds of prejudice. Could you introduce us to your leading ladies? Absolutely, that'll be a pleasure. Hey ladies, I want to introduce you again to Zakia. <laughs> <laughs> this is Shona Johnson and she plays Sandra in the play. Shantar Sneeman plays Gita. And Lisa Kabu plays uh, Lindiwe. Yeah, so they're actually doing a, a scene from the play called Home, which is the last scene, and they, um, here they're together. And it's a very close interaction, it's a very intimate moment in the play. Ah, oh, it's beautiful here in the afternoons. So peaceful. It is. So, Auntie Gita, did you go to the casino today or did you go to cultural The casino, of course! <laughs> okay, so the three ladies are all set up here now in a casino. Okay, we're playing a little game, improvised scene, they're just playing some cards there. And the main character, Gita, is actually at a slot machine. Very innovative design here. So it can be many things. Now, basically, I'd like you to hop in here. Okay. Join us. Come on! Who's your granny, eh? Who's your granny? Are you playing on that machine? Miss Baraj! I'm tired of hearing your questions, okay? I was just wondering if you were playing on this machine, because if you're not, then maybe I can, you know. It's so obvious play I'm on playing machine. on this machine, Miss Mirage. This is my baby. You don't touch my baby. How much have you won? Have they played out? Have they like, played out? Like Has five grand. Been? I've won five grand. You won five grand? Five grand. Hey, leave us her ladies alone. This is our time, then. <laughs> tell her, tell her, tell her, tell her, tell her. Go away. With so much entertainment online, is theatre still relevant? Theatre is very relevant. I'm actually a theatre teacher. I teach speech and drama. My kids have every single type of technology that they bring to class. And, you know, we were all laughing the other day because we saw something on Facebook saying that people are so obsessed with 3D. Theatre is 3D. It really is. It's living in the moment and we're telling stories that are human, that are relevant, that are new and fresh. And we're blessed to have directors and writers who dare to write new scripts. So theatre is so relevant because we're telling the stories that need to be heard today. 
I have absolutely loved watching the cast rehearse for tonight's show, but as an actress myself, I'm not going to wish them luck, but I am holding thumbs. <laughs> That evening, Zaki joined Gauteng Theatre fans to see the finished product. For me, the magic of theatre lies in being sucked into a parallel universe. Beyond the Big Bangs does exactly that, and it's a definite must-see.